In this illustration, we intend to simulate the RBS moment end plate connection under cyclic loading in the Abacus software. As you observe in the picture, the model includes RBS beam, column, extended end plate, bolt, stiffener, doubler web plate, and continuity plate. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied to the beam and following that, its hysteresis diagram will be drawn. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the results mentioned in the article. In these pictures, we can also observe the formation of the model under cyclic loading. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Experimental and FEM Analysis of Reduced Beam Section Moment End Plate Connections Under Cyclic Loading. In this picture, you observe the experimental sample. In this one, you can observe the hysteresis diagram obtained in the article. In this picture, the parameters A, B, R that are related to the geometric shape of RBS beam can be observed. Here, the quantities of A, B, and R have been distinguished. I'll click on Create Arc, draw a semicircle. The distance between these two points is equal to 96 millimeters. The distance between these two points is 114 millimeters. Radius is equal to 16, uh, 60.61 millimeters. In the next step, uh, I will click on create construction and draw a vertical line in the center of the beam. Then I click on mirror, then select copy, select this line, after that this semicircle and done. Then I will complete these semicircles, done and OK. I will click on Translate Instance, select Beam, Done. First, select this point, then this one, and OK. In the next step, I will enter Geometric Shape of End Plate into the Assembly section. Click on Rotate Instance. Select end plate, done, and rotate that 90 degrees about X axis.
Here I'll select blind and enter the depth of holes equal to 19 millimeters. In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the model. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output, and continue. Here, I will select all reaction forces. Click on Save As and then sum all reaction forces up together. After that, I will select Displacement and click on Save As. I will click on Create XY Data, select Operate on XY Data and continue. As you observe, the horizontal axis is rotation and the vertical axis is moment. Here, we should convert displacement into rotation. To do so, I will select displacement and divide that by 600 millimeters. In the next step, we should convert force into moment. To do so, I will click, I will select force and multiply that by one meter. And that is actually the distance between the place of loading and column. In the next step, I will select Combine. First, I'll select Rotation and then Moment and then click on Save As. Here, 
you observe the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software. I will transfer the diagram to the Excel software. The first column is rotation, the unit of which is radian. The second column is moment, the unit of which is newton meter. Here, the diagram drawn with blue color is the diagram having been obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are very close to those mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated correctly and properly in the Abacus software.